fourth year in a row. Are you going to give anyone a chance? <laughs> But seriously, what does this say about your sports team? Well, I think we're, it's something we're very proud of winning because it, obviously it's, it's A, it's a public vote, which I think is really important. And, uh, you know, the clues in the title, it's the Football Sports Federation. Um, and I think we, we, we genuinely pride ourselves on doing a good job on, on those if things that are all sometimes called fan issues. But I think it's a bit of a, that's a bit of a misnomer because almost everything in, in football is a fan issue. Um, and I think in a year when we've, you know, our coverage of the Hillsborough Inquest, for example, has been so key in terms of you know telling the, the the story of of what happened there and the aftermath of, of that disaster and the long fight for justice to those families when we've looked at clubs like what's happened at charlton and blackpool and some of these clubs that are still despite all the money in football are still very much you know fighting for their lives really telling those some of those stories and really just trying to get underneath the belly of of football and i think that's why why fans kind of appreciate what we do and i think that's why you know hopefully we'll continue to win many more of these awards is there a story in 2016 throughout all the sports pages in The Guardian have covered that you could pick that would be your favourite? Well, I mean, they're, but, you know, neither of them are particularly um, cheery subjects, certainly, but I think, yeah, David Conn's work on the Hillsborough Inquest was absolutely key in, in first bringing that inquest about, really, and then telling the story of what happened to those families. And then just in the last couple of weeks, we've seen this sort of spiralling um, story of uh, child sexual abuse in football, which my colleague Daniel Taylor he broke that and kind of what's happened in the last couple of weeks has been both you know extraordinary uh, disturbing and, and quite humbling in a way to see these men coming forward and talk about what happened to them so i think it's it's been a place where we can tell these stories while obviously of course celebrating all the all the good stuff in football as well but you know i think you know the, those two sort of quite serious and, and quite depressing stories in some ways stand out so whilst on the subject of David Conn, he deserves a special mention for the years and years of work that he has put his in. Uh, sorry, should we do that one again? Sorry. Right. While on the subject of David Conn, does he deserve a special mention for the years of work he has put into the um, Hillsborough Inquest? Yeah, I think the, you know, that, that whole Hillsborough story and the way it unfolded needed sort of patient, diligent work. You know, it went on not only for years but for decades and you know, at some points it looked as though it hit dead ends and it looked like that process was never going to be reopened and those families wouldn't get justice. So among others, I think David deserves a lot of credit for keeping that process alive. So I guess in terms of thank yous, a thank you to my predecessor in this role, Ian Pryor, um, to James Dart, who's the, the web editor, and then to, to all our writers, really, who you know, do such a good job of making the newspaper and the website come alive every day. And then, of course, to everyone who, who voted for us for this. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.